what I would say is I really, really have no credibility as an authority on hacking. You know, it, and my credibility is that I just saw it happening and I saw people being hurt and I saw kids being groomed and I, and it just got me by the soul that like the world needs to wake up. You're very, very humble. And I'm going to, to tell people that you actually are an expert. He's being very humble, everyone. But let's jump into it. Tell me about the beginning. How did you get into this? Because it's an extremely rarefied um, part of the whole cyber security world. Uh, not many people know about it. They only hear about it when there's a headline. How did you get involved? Tell us that. Yeah, look, honestly, it was serendipity um, and ultimately driven by paranoia. So, uh, yeah, really seriously. So really good. Like, isn't that, isn't that what humanity is driven by is ultimately fear, you know, right at the bottom of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So a friend of mine, uh, Dan Deer, who's now my co-founder, he's been in cyber for 25 years and he's got, um, a network of the most extraordinary badass hackers you could possibly imagine. And he said, Hey, do you want to come and meet some hackers? And I was like, yeah, sure. Like, why, you know, what, what are you doing this afternoon? Why not? I'll come meet some hackers. And uh, we went into uh, a room in the Netherlands in Amsterdam. And we sat down and we had a bunch of hackers on the phone and we had a bunch of hackers um, in the room. And we spent three hours just chewing the fat and hanging out. And my journey was, I think this is going to be weird. And then it was like, oh, these guys are really interesting. 